how small of a quad can you go? This question came from the Discord before the queue started, so I reposted the question. That's why it appears to be coming from my name. How small of a quad can you go uh, realistically on 6S? According to ecalc.ch, you could go as small as 1.2 inch 30 millimeter props. And I think what you, I don't, I don't know how you're getting that number or what that's based on, but let's talk about why, why you go to higher voltage in the first place. What's your, what's the reason for going to higher voltage? Because like, if you think about it, if I've got a five volt battery, hypothetically, and I want a certain RPM out of my motors, I can just manipulate the KV of the motor to make the KV as high as I want within obviously some physical limits, but I can always manipulate the KV of the motor to get a desired RPM. Okay. And some people will say, aha, but lower KV motors make more torque. So what you want to do is you want to increase the voltage so that you can have a lower KV, which gives you more torque. Well, at the same, it's KV times voltage equals RPM, right? That's the formula we're working with. So voltage goes up, KV goes down, RPM stays the same, and you get more torque. And that is BS. It is wrong. It is not true. If you actually look at test stand data comparing motors of different KV, lower KV motors don't make more torque. That's a myth. It is, it's completely false. So then who cares? Why don't we all just run? Why do we bother? Why don't we all just run a 3S battery with a 30,000 kV motor? And there we go. And the answer is heat buildup and current. Okay. So let's say you've got a given motor and prop and quadcopter combination. And that quadcopter is going to need some number of watts of power in order to fly, okay? Well, you can make that power with a high voltage and a low current, right? And a low KV motor, or you can make that power with a lower voltage, higher KV and higher current. Once again, we have a relationship, amps times volts equals watts. So if we wanna make a certain RPM, it's volts times KV. If we wanna make a certain wattage, it's amps times volts. In both cases, we've got the same multiplying relationship. And so we can manipulate those things up and down reciprocally. The, the more amps that are going through the motor, the more heat buildup there is. And that's bad. It's bad not just because people are like, well, okay, as long as I don't melt my insulation on the wires, then it doesn't matter. No, that's not true. As the, as the core of the motor heats up, it becomes less efficient. It loses magnetic it loses the ability to build up magnetism and and it wastes more energy as heat and you get this you get this uh feedback loop you get this sort of snowball effect where the motor starts to heat up the motor becomes less efficient but you still have to make the same amount of power because you're out there pumping the throttle and you know you're flying your quad and so the motor heats up the motor becomes less efficient you more current, it pulls more current to make the same power, which makes it heat up more, which makes it less efficient, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So the reason that we wanna to go to high voltage on a motor, and this is not the entire story. The entire story would take someone like Ryan Harrell or Chris Rosser at hours and hours to tell. And I would be fascinated. Many of you would also be fascinated. Many of you, your eyes would glaze over and you wouldn't listen, you wouldn't care. But the gist of it is that you go to a higher voltage battery when you have enough heat buildup in the motor that you're getting loss of efficiency. Okay. So based on that, let's get back to the question. How small of a quad can you go on 6S? That question is backwards. The question is, at what size motor does it start to make sense to go increase the voltage to 6S. So if you have a little teeny tiny motor and it's pulling very few watts and you put a 1S battery on it, maybe. Who cares? It's not building up any heat. It's a tiny motor. It's not pulling very much power. Little, little 0702 motor on a tiny whoop. It's not pulling, you know, a couple watts. 
I don't know. What is pulling? Amps times watts, you know. It's not pulling a lot. It's not heating up very much. So there's no incentive to go to a higher voltage. But now you go to a heavier quadcopter. Now you go to a bigger prop. Let's say you take that same 10,000 kV 0702 motor, whatever. You take it, now it's on like a two inch prop, okay? Now that motor is working harder, right? It's getting hotter. It's making more power. And eventually it starts to heat up and lose efficiency and you go, aha, I need to go to a higher voltage. And now you've got, number one, you've got a bigger motor, obviously. Realistically, you wouldn't keep the small motor. You have a bigger motor with more mass in the, more volume in the stator, therefore it makes more torque. That's what, that's what causes torque. Larger motors with more volume in the stator make more torque, not KV. So now you have a bigger motor with more torque and it's making more power and you go to a higher voltage and a lower KV and that lets it not heat up and not become inefficient. And now you go to a bigger prop and you go to a bigger prop and eventually that motor starts getting too hot. And that's when you graduate to a higher voltage, okay? So the question is, at what point does the need to make power demand that you go to a 6S battery in order to decrease the current to a point where the motor can dissipate the heat? And in my opinion, the answer is somewhere around a three and a half inch prop. So what I'm saying is anything below a three and a half inch prop, there's not a compelling reason to go to 6S. Because the motors, the, the size of the motor and the amount of power that the motor is being demanded that it make, the amount of heat that that generates, the motor can dissipate the heat and if the motor is able to dissipate the heat on 4S, sure, you could go to 6S, but why? You don't need to. You, there would be just less heat. As long as the motor can dissipate the heat, it's good to go. And the thing is, when you go to a higher KV, you do you add windings? No, you decrease windings to increase the KV. Okay, never. Yeah. So as you go, that's right. Okay, I was, I got there. As you go to a higher voltage, you could need to go to a lower KV, which means you need to put more wire on the in the core, right? And that has that can have effects on the ability to like manufacture the motor, especially very small motors. The ability to get the KV down to a point where you could have a 6S battery can be challenging just to fit all that wire in the core. So. To sum up my answer, and I'm glad I really wanted to take this question because it's a topic that I really like to talk about and I think it's very misunderstood. The answer to the question is that for every given prop size and its corresponding motor size and, and, uh, and quadcopter size, there is an optimal voltage range where if the voltage was too low, then the current would be too high and the motor would heat up. And if the voltage is too high, then you got these, the thing is higher cell batteries are more complicated. They're more expensive. You have smaller cells. So generally the C rating is worse. Yada, yada, yada. There's a sweet spot. And for me, right around four inch to six inch or seven inch is where 6S is really sweet. Okay. But below about a four inch prop, I don't think there's a reason to go to 6S. You can. I don't think there's a real benefit to it.